morning students in today's computer video class we will meet in last chapter of second term presentation software so these are some of the points which we will discuss in this chapter and at the end of this lesson you will get one practical question which you can practice at home now students you may have seen on various occasions that maps charts pictures videos texts are being used in a classroom while explaining a topic this may help you to learn a lesson easily or understand a topic quickly such method of displaying information by showing various illustrations is called presentation now presentations are being used by various persons in different places for example in office presentations are being used by an employee to show his or her work a sales person can also use presentation to explain the product to his customer students also can use presentation while doing project work and a teacher also use presentation to explain a lesson in a classroom all these presentations can be done by using a software in your computer that software is called presentation software this is some of the examples of presentation software number 1 microsoft powerpoint number 2 for our presentation but today we will go through in detail about microsoft powerpoint let me give you a little introduction about microsoft powerpoint powerpoint was initially developed by a company called photo in the year 1984 the company was later purchased by microsoft that's why powerpoint comes under the package of microsoft office whenever you open microsoft office you can Uh, see PowerPoint there inside Microsoft Office. Components of the PowerPoint window. PowerPoint window has the following parts: title bar, ribbon, file tab, navigation pane, slide pane, and status bar. Navigation pane again has two parts. slide step and outline tab title bar the title bar is located at the top of the powerpoint window it displays the name of the presentation by default the name of the presentation is presentation 1 and the name of the program that is powerpoint the quick access toolbar is present on the left side of the title bar It contains icon for frequently used commands such as save, undo and redo. You can add or remove commands from quick access toolbar. Number 2 ribbon. Just below the title bar lies ribbon. It contains many tabs such as home, insert, design, transition, animation, slideshow, review and view. each of which contains commands arranged in groups you can click on a tab to view its commands number 3 file tab file tab is present on the left side of the ribbon it has many options for creating saving opening and printing the presentation number 4 slide pane slide pane is located at the center of the window It is the main working area of the PowerPoint window. It displays a large image of the currently selected slide. Navigation pane. Navigation pane is located on the left side of the PowerPoint window. It displays all the slides in a presentation. It has two tabs. Number 1 slide step and number 2 outline tab 
The Slides tab displays all the slides in a small view, whereas Outline tab displays only the text written on a slide. Status Bar Status Bar is present at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. It displays the slide number and the total number of slides in the presentation. It has view buttons for viewing the presentation. It also has a zoom slider and zoom button. This is a picture of a slide. Now, a slide is a single page in a presentation. It can contain text, pictures, sound or video. It has one or more placeholders. A placeholder is a box with dotted borders. You can place text and pictures inside a placeholder. You can add as many as slides in a presentation with a new layout. Let's take a look at slide layout. A slide layout is an arrangement of all items that make up a slide in a presentation. It contains placeholders for text, videos, pictures, charts, and shapes. Microsoft PowerPoint includes nine built-in slide layouts, which are title slide, title and content, section header, two content, comparison, title only, blank, content with caption, and picture with caption. Let's take a look at some of these slide layouts. Title and content. It is the most commonly used layout. It is used to give a title and its content in points. Number two, title slide. Title slide layout is used to add a title and subtitle. It is very easy to use. Just click on any of the placeholder and start typing. Title only. It is used to place only a title or other objects such as pictures on the page. Last, blank layout. It is often used when a picture needs no further information. It will be inserted to cover the whole slide. Creating and saving a presentation. To create a presentation, start PowerPoint and click on New Presentation option. The slide pane will show a slide with two placeholders, which is known as title slide. Adding a text to a slide. To add text to a slide, just click inside a placeholder and start typing. Inserting a text box. To insert a text box, go to Insert tab and click on Text box option. Next, click on the slide. A text box will appear with the cursor inside it. You can type your text inside the text box. Inserting a picture on a slide. You can add picture in your presentation by clicking on the picture button option present in insert tab. The insert picture dialog box will appear on the screen. Select the picture from the pictures library and then click on the insert button. The picture will be inserted on the slide. Saving a presentation. After designing a presentation, you can save your presentation by clicking on the File tab. Next, click on Save option. The Save as dialog box will appear on the screen. Type a file name in the file name box at the bottom and click on the Save button.
viewing a slideshow you can view a slideshow in three ways by clicking from beginning option present in slideshow tab or by pressing f5 key on the keyboard or either by clicking on the slideshow button on the status bar create a PowerPoint presentation about yourself and then save it in first slide write your name your birthday and one interesting thing about yourself in second slide list your favorite food items and games in third slide write about your hobbies practice this question at home and for question and answers of this lesson visit the school website